Hey there, what's going on? Coach Anthony Dostachek from Hustle Strength and Performance TV. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a dynamic warm-up that you could do before games, before practice, before your workout to help you run faster and become a better athlete. Let's get into it. So before we get, before we actually get into the dynamic part, we're gonna do 30, I like to do 30 pogos, 30 seal jacks, 30 jumping jacks, just to get the heart rate going a little bit. So we're gonna do 30 pogos or ankle poppers, just like this, legs are straight. 30 pogos. After you're done with those 30 pogos, we're gonna do 30 seal jacks. So seal jacks, you're gonna switch your legs and your arms over and under every single time, just like that. So after you're done with those, um, with those pogos and the seal jacks, you're gonna do 30 jumping jacks, just like that. Here, just to kind of get the heart rate going a little bit. After your jumping jacks, you're going to do prisoner squats. So prisoner squats can help open up those shoulders and Get down, loosen up those legs a little bit. We're gonna do 10 prisoner squats, okay? So after you're done with your 10 prisoner squats, that's when we start to move a little bit more. So I have cones out here. These are 10 yards apart. For the sake of this video, we're gonna do everything for 10 yards. If you have more space, that's totally cool. 10 yards is great to start off with. So to get this thing rolling, we're gonna do walking lunges. So walking lunges for 10 yards, step, Drop your hips straight down to the ground and come forward. Step, drop your hips straight down to the ground and come forward. So you're going walking lunges for 10 yards, okay? After you're done with your walking lunges, we're gonna do a side lunge. So with the side lunges is facing one direction, we're gonna lunge, lunge, and then kick around here. Lunge, lunge, and kick around. Now, you notice when I'm doing the side lunge, both of my feet are staying flat. So we're gonna lunge to the right, lunge to the left, and then I'm kicking around just like that. So again, we're gonna lunge to the side you kick to, left, right, shoulders back, good posture, and kick around just like that. Here, just like this, and then kicking around for 10, yards so moving on to the next one we're going to do is an inchworm to a jog i'm going to show you guys right here so we're going to do three inchworms to a jog for 10 yards so what that is is we're going to keep your legs straight walk your hands out walk your feet to your hands walk your hands out walk your feet to your hands walk your hands out walk your feet to your hands, and then jog it the rest of the way, okay? So then after those three inchworms to a jog, you're gonna come back with the hurdle walk. So hurdle walk is you're gonna face forward for half of the distance you're doing the warm up for. So big, big, pretend like there's a hurdle in front of you. Over, over, this has helped loosen up your hips a little more, over, take your time, don't lean forward, and then once you reach about halfway, we're gonna flip it over. So you're gonna do backwards now. So up and around, up and around, up and around just like that, okay? Going over and over. Again, 10 yards on that one. The next one we're gonna do is a foot grab. So foot grab, you're gonna grab your foot, grab your foot, whoa. <laughs> grab your foot and pull up. Just like this, grab your foot and pull up. You see how I'm getting up on my calf as well? Just like that, just like that. Here, here. Awesome, so now the next one is gonna be a walking leg kick. So with the walking leg kick, I really want you to focus on your posture. Keep your shoulders back, good posture. We're gonna kick up as high as you can. Just like this, good posture. I don't wanna see you coming forward like this. Good, here, here. Loosen up those hamstrings, going back. Then, the next one is a walking toe touch. So this one's gonna help with our calves, with our hamstrings, with our Achilles. Point that toe up, reach over, touch your toe. Take a big step, reach over, point that toe up, and touch your toe, here.
Awesome. And back. Now, going back, we're gonna do a shin grab. So what the shin grab is, is pretty self-explanatory. You're gonna grab your shin and pull it up, okay? Grab your shin, pull it up. You're gonna feel a stretch in your piriformis here and up and behind and your, and your glute as well. So here and up. So walking shin grab, stretch. Here, you should be feeling pretty good right now. <laughs> After all of these parts of the warm up, um, you're gonna do a high knee. So with the high knee, what I like to do is, I like to tell athletes to get as many steps as possible between the distance you're doing the high knees for. Because some athletes, I, I, some athletes come into hustle and I see them doing this. This is not part of your warm up here. So you're, I see them coming in and they're going like this, high knees, all, all out of control and stuff like that. What I really want you to focus on is like I said, getting as many steps as possible in between these cones. So I say, go, you're gonna go, get them up, up, up. See, here. So high knees, you're gonna go down and then you're going to come back with it as well. So with the high knees, that's something that I recommend you guys doing is taking your time, getting as many steps as you can, getting those knees up every single time. So after your high knees, you're gonna do a side shuffle. Now side shuffle, I want you to get in a good athletic position. Stay low, don't stand up straight here. So watch me here, shoulders back, good, good. So we're gonna do a side lunge. Don't click your heels, stand shoulders back, good posture. So standing behind the line, shuffle, 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 just like this here. And then you're gonna shuffle back, going the same direction. You're going to the left, and then now you're gonna go to the right. Stay low, keep those feet pointed forward, just like that. Then after you're done with your side shuffles, you're gonna do a skip. So skipping for height to begin with. So when you skip for height, you're gonna skip opposite arm. So watch me here, opposite arm, opposite leg, opposite arm, opposite leg, just like that, okay? Then going back, we're gonna skip for distance. So here, get out, get out, get out, just like that. And it's important on those skips to make sure that you're using, you're going opposite arm, opposite leg. Cause I've seen some athletes go same arm, same leg. Um, I really want you to take your time and do it the right way. Opposite arm, opposite leg, just like you'd be running. Okay. So a little, that's a little tip on that one. So moving on, you're going to do sprints. So you should be feeling good at this point. We're going to do a sprint for 50% of your max. So just for video purposes, we're going to sprint half speed. Then you're going to come back and you're going to sprint 75% here, 75. And last one, you're going to do a full speed sprint going down. Okay. So after this warm up, you should be feeling pretty good. You should have a great sweat going. Your heart rate should be ready to rock. You should be feeling great. You should be feeling loose, ready to dominate your workout, ready to dominate your practice, ready to dominate your game. I hope it helped. I hope you feel good. I hope you're feeling strong, fast, and confident. I appreciate you for watching. And as always, thanks for hustling. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed today's video and that it truly helped you become stronger, faster, and more confident. If it helped, can you please do me a favor and click that like button down below? And by clicking the like button, it lets YouTube and myself know that you do like this type of content and to keep making more of it. Also, comment down below with any questions that you may have, and I will personally take the time to answer them as soon as I see it. If you don't have any questions, just leave a comment and let me know how I'm doing. I truly appreciate that too. And one more thing, if you haven't, be sure to subscribe to the channel by clicking the bell notification down below. I'm putting out new content every week, and if you're not subscribed, you won't, you won't be notified once I put out that content. So I appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch, and as always, thanks for hustling.